You have my consent to marry my daughter. On one condition, you must never upset her. Don't ever leave her. You see how fragile she is. Thank God this wasn't too serious. And if you hurt my daughter, then you'd be responsible for her death. The only thing she has now is love. If you hurt her, you'd be no better than a murderer. Kareem. Shh. Don't tire yourself. Celine, honey, are you okay, dear? I'm fine, don't worry. You tire yourself out. You always need to rest. Let's cancel the party and- No, don't cancel the party. I'm fine, I mean it. Anna, dinner's ready, let's eat. I'm not hungry, you eat. Okay. Okay, the flowers are ready. All we're missing is the catering. Okay, kisses. Mr. Ken. Ken, it's fine when it's just us. All right then. Mom and Celine? They're both out. They should be back soon. How are you? Hmm? What's wrong? Celine, she's decided to marry that swimming teacher. The one who came to her birthday party? Didn't you know that? I'm surprised. I thought everyone else knew but me. Isn't this absurd? Deciding to get married so soon? She wasn't always this irrational. I just don't understand. They belong to two different worlds. Don't get me wrong, I don't mean to look down on anyone, but a love like this can only be found in the movies and books. Anyway, she'll see her mistake. I just hope she realizes it before it's too late. It's quite simple. If this swimming teacher really has bad intentions and is only marrying Miss Celine for her money, you can stop him. How? With a prenuptial agreement. That way, even if they marry, he can't gain anything unless you and Miss Celine want him to. And if he's only after her money, he won't sign it and you will have dodged that bullet. Right. Great. Well done. Very good. Hello, Marat. What's up? I'm calling for a favor. I want you to write a prenup, a really tight one. Where were you two? Kareem, come in. We invited Kareem over for dinner. Sounds like a plan. Tell the maid to set another place, please. No, there's no need for that, Mom. I'm going out tonight. Where? I'll have dinner with my friends. As you wish. I took Kareem to the apartment today. Mm, beautiful, isn't it? It's great. Yeah. I thought we'd live there after we got married. 
No way, my darling. You'll live here with me. At least until you start feeling a little better. But mom... Your mother's right. She's not ready to let you live alone just yet. All right, then. If you're okay with it, then... Yes, it's fine. Tonight's very important for me, AJ. Don't worry, Miss Natalia. I'll call the organization company again to make sure that everything is set. I'll watch over the employees so that everything runs smoothly. I have errands to run. I'll be back in the afternoon. Everything must be finished before I get back. Will you come back with Mr. Ken? I don't know. Why do you ask? Nothing. I just haven't seen Mr. Ken today. I wondered when he'd come. What time he comes is of no interest to you. You just worry about getting everything ready, understand? Yes. Dear, tell me, how was yoga? Great, I feel really good. You should lie down, rest until the evening. It'll be a long night. No, I'll meet with Kareem. Besides, I don't really feel tired. Think about it, dear. You'll see him in the evening anyway. You'll surely get tired. Why don't you rest for just a few hours? Oh, Mom, please don't do that. Don't treat me as if I'm a child. I always feel worse when you treat me like that. I'm gonna go shower. I better not make Kareem wait. I'll see you later. <laughs> 